Boys, boys, boys and girls. Long story, but I bought one of my locos back. And me being a GM fan, this is what we have. This is what we have. difference between a 35 GM and a 34 GM. So I bought the one back to 35 in front there. You know, it's one of my favorite locusts, like I've told you before. And as these things go, as I bought them, they sold. So now I have one and I'm going to build it a dummy. All three of those are powered. So they're eating a little bit of amps, but uh, they're fine. That's the 35 GE, 35 GM. There you can see. But how cool is this, man? And uh, remember, that was the loco that I built for Jan. He says to me, listen man, it's going to go to waste here by me. I'm never going to run this thing. I'm not, he's retiring. I'm not going to have time to come play there by you. I have a funny feeling he's going to the coast. And leaving us here. So, uh, I don't mind. So there you can see nicely the difference between a 35 and a 34. Well, then, dimension-wise, that 35G is such a pretty logo. Hey, look at this thing. Just look at it. And the three of them, with a whole consist like this, right up to there, I haven't even checked. Look, I don't know what I did there. Something is rooting at me. Okay. So, let's just see. Four amp. Okay, but the smokers are off. I don't want to run with the smokers. Um, yes. I still haven't done the boosters. So yeah, with the three of them, oh, there they go, five amp. But that's right at the far end. You know, when they get over there, they far away from the droppers. And that's where they pull the most weight. But uh, yes, yes, yes. So I want to do a, I've got an old body here for the 35 GM in Gulf Red. Uh, before the door handles, before the separate doors, when they were still one big, huge filament print, but I did paint it. So it's not going to be the prettiest look. I didn't want to sell it because everybody knew that I've got the damn, you know, new locos out. So, yes, um, I'll build a dummy out of that and hook it behind this blue one. It's heavy. The blue one's very heavy. Remember, I told you it pulls very, very well. So, uh, just the last one. There's something rooting at the top there. Like a root. Why would it be Ricky? 
It's one of the dummy ones. Oops, and there, there, there it all through. So that's actually there's the air horns. Yeah, so pretty little Hoka. I'm glad she's back. Um, I will sort everything out. I think why this happened was I haven't I haven't um, set this one speed up. I think I made this full speed for you, so that's why it's slightly quicker than those. So what I'll do is uh, I'll put it on the programmer and just program it the same as those. And then, uh, but they never ran together these 35s and 35s. But well, they did, but not 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 much. So then I will um, rather sort it out that they can run uh, 35s together and 34s together, both GM and GE. You know, keep them uh, piece by piece. All right. Dude, so that's that. Lucker, yellow. Lucker. Okay, goodbye.